And so, so marami po sa inyo itong nagsasabi na na-reject na po, na-reject na po nang na-reject. Matanong ko nga rin po sa inyong mga ano, mga newcomers, mga newbies, takot ba kayong ma-reject? Because that is also a question that we have to deal with today. Wag po kayong matakot sa rejection because right now we are going to talk about how we are going to convert it into a positive thing. Let's start with Miss Abby. Miss Abby, ilang beses na pa ba kayong na-reject? Um, I, I I sent 68 applications before Ooh. I landed the first client. Wow. Talaga? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> kasi before, before, pan, before pandemic kasi, I was on a corporate job. Then, I really love what I'm doing there. there. So, I'm very complacent. And mm. there's no time for me to have skills and to focus on that job. Then, there's the pandemic come. And mm. you industry na pinapasokan ko is badly hit by the pandemic. So, we need to shut down. And since then, I became jobless. I, I became a ano, floating employee. So, nung nag-try ako mag-search online, I'm very confident. Kasi nung time na yun, yung position ko is maganda. Um, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a happy supervisor. Then, Feeling ko, hindi na magaling ako. Parang ganun kasi dun sa akin na yun, nag- oh, yeah. nag-excel ako dun sa company na yun. So, very confident ako that time. Then, after 16 rejections, parang I started to lose my confidence. Mm-hmm. And then, what I did there is, I, I really to accept na hindi ako magaling. That's the first thing I did. Na meron pa akong hindi alam. So, I became open-minded na why not try to have skills, di ba? So, there where I started to watch um, free resources online kasi that time wala na kaming budget kasi bago mag-pandemic is naka-maternity leave ako. And then, bumili kami ng bahay, nagpagawa kami ng bahay, and then appliances. So, yung savings namin is naupos talaga. And nung pati na yun, very confident ako na ah, next month naman may trabaho na. So, makapag-ipon-ipon. Kaya lang hindi kasi nangyari. So, that's, I think, that's the most, um, nakamasakit that time. Mm. <laughs> kasi, naisip ko na, um, this pandemic, we realize that nothing is really permanent. Na, pero, mm-hmm. Naiiyak pa rin ako hanggang naaalala ko kasi I still realize how blessed I am right now na I started I started freelancing kasi before wala naman ako alam sa freelancing and just to focus and confident and I know I'm good on what I do and then ayun nga na hit kami badly hit by the pandemic na upos yung savings namin I started from the scratch hmm. and nire-assess ko yung sarili ko that's the second thing I did. Yung una is, inaccept ko kung inaccept ko na may tulang sa akin. Second is, nire-assess ko yung sarili ko. And then third is, from there, yung sa re-assessment ko, yun ako nag, dun ko siya teenage. So, I joined, I joined several groups. Ito nga, napasama ako dito sa flip. Then, I remember there was a time I posted na I am starting to lose my self-confidence. Mm. And there's someone who commented on that that really uplift me na sobrang natouch ako dun sa sinabi niya. Then, I start sending proposal again. Pero nirevise ko na this time. Hindi na ako, I don't talk about myself anymore. Kasi before, that's my mistake. Mm-hmm. Then sending proposal, I talk about myself na I can do this, I can do that. Mm-hmm. So where I realized that sending proposal, is, it's not about you. It's about the client problem. So, the way it started. I start, ginabasa ko may igi yung mga sina, yung sa job posting and then pag nakita ko ano yung kailangan niya, sabi ko, hey, I know, dun ko siya, dun ko siya pinapasokan na I, I, I saw in your job post that you are looking for account payable specialist. Um, I'm willing to help, but yung sinasabi ko na para mas matulungan ko siya is kailangan niya akong bigyan ng mas, mas maraming information. So, para ko magtipman kami. Then, there I think kung paano ko siya na-land yung first client ko by using that strategy. 
Wow, I love that. I love I love that. Dapat ano eh, dapat nasa just success ito eh kasi that is a that is a nice detailed uh story of yours mm-hmm. para ano ba pag-usapan natin ng ng gusto yung yung step by step ng progress mo and so, so, thank you very much for sharing that. Lailea. Lailea Seri si, ano to si nasa dyan ni ano ni Ana. Pumili siya ng mahirap ang pangalan. Lailea Seris Aster. <laughs> Di na po takot. Nasanay na ako sa rejections. <laughs> Hehehe. I love that. Thank you very much. Yun nga yung na, napag-usapan nga natin noon. Man, namanhid ka na. Namanhid ka na. So thank you very much for sharing that uh Miss Lailea. Uh, Thetet Cordero says, I've been rejected for many times. Normal na lang sa akin yan. Ha, ha, ha. You see, ladies and gentlemen, kayo pong mga ano, kayo pong mga bago pa lang, do not fear. Do not fear rejection kasi according to marami po sa ating mga kasama dito, ilang, ilang ul- ulit na mangyayari yan sa'yo at mamamanhid ka rin. So do not be afraid. Dahil kapag natatakot ka, medyo ay- umaayaw-ayaw ka pa eh. It's best na harapin mo na lang. Darating at darating yan. Just face it head on para agad-agad kang mag- mag-adjust. Let me go to Miss Lou. Miss Lou, um, I mentioned na ano na na harapin mo ang mga challenges para agad-agad kang mag-adjust. If a person uh, faces rejection, natural depression ang mangyayari diyan katulad ng nangyari kay Miss Abby na nalungkot siya, nawalan siya ng confidence. So, sabihin na nating ano, ang isang UBI na reject. Ilang minuto, oras o araw niya uh, kailangan mag-dwell sa rejection na yan before nasabihin na, okay, let's move on to the next phase? Dapat, ano? Dapat. <clears throat> For me, siguro depende na rin sa personality ng tao. Eh. How hmm. kamukha ni Abby, Uh, it took a long time for her to process na may kulang sa kanya. Kasi mm-hmm. una, proud na proud siya na, oh, magaling ako mm-hmm. sa corporate world. Hindi niya naisip na ibang-iba ang freelancing world sa corporate world. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if uh, sa mga newbie, siguro, ano, pag na-reject kayo, tama na yung isang oras na masama ang loob niyo. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Move on agad kasi kung gusto niyo makakuha ka agad ng client, that's the way. Kailangan uh, you learn from the from each rejection. Bakit ka na-reject? Isipin mo rin, ano ang kulang? Is there something wrong with your... Pag siguro naka-20 rejections ka na, mm. uh, i-review mo na or 10 rejections, i-review mo na yung cover letter mo or mm-hmm. how you present yourself. Ang mm-hmm. freelancing kasi is how you present yourself. Tapos during the interview, nakikita na, ng, ano, ng client kung totoo yung sinasabi mo and kung talagang kaya mong i-deliver yung work. So, oh, yeah. bawat rejection, ang gawin mo is learn why. Why did you get rejected? And gawin yung ano yon gawin yung parang magkaroon kayo ng more fighting spirit because of the rejection. Don't take it uh, negatively. Take it constructively. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's so nice. Yeah. Um. Miss Miss Lou reminded me to uh, to tell you newbies. My process yung iba yung iba mga nagsaksid sa freelancing. Kada rejection may notebook sila. Barang rejection notebook or just a note. Kada rejection ilalagay nila doon uh, what they think the reason why. Kung bakit ano, kung bakit sila na-reject. So where, saan sila nagkulang? Whether it is because the client is cranky or maybe ayaw niya sa ilong mo, yung mga gano, just put it there. Because you will definitely see the difference once you recognize the things that you need to improve on. Hindi ko naman sinasabing magpa-implant kayo ng, ng ilong, ano, magpa-rhinoplasty kayo. Hindi ko sinasabi yun. Those are the things. It really depends on how you approach those. Kasi every time you identify a problem, the next step is how you are going to address it. Yes. Eh, yun nga yung sinabi ni Miss Abby na you really have to progress step by step first is to identify and then react. Yun ang ginawa ni Miss Abby, kaya siya nag-grow. And that is another thing that you should learn. Kapag tuloy-tuloy yung rejection ninyo, simulan nyo na na ilagay, inote nyo kung bakit. Yung feeling nyo, ah, yung feeling nyo. Or if you can ask the, the client why you were rejected, take that and put it on that list. So who knows? Pag next time na mag-apply kayo, no-overcome ninyo yung, yung pagkukulang ninyong yun. The moment you have, you, you, 
you accepted such criticisms, that is when you start growing and you will start improving. Kahit konti lang ang steps ninyo, you will get there. Thank you very much there, uh, for that, Miss Malu. Um, so let's go to Miss Paula. Miss Paula, sayo ko nga ipapasa ang ano, the question of the day. How do yeah. you convert rejection to your advantage? Um, basically, based on my experience, like, I guess it starts with, like, reflecting, like, what transpired during the interview. Siguro you check on yourself, like, did I say anything wrong or did I answer the right question? Because sometimes when we get really nervous on interviews, we don't really target the questions that are being asked. Instead, um, we beat around the bush during the interview. Mm -hmm. So that's really, like, one of the most uh, probably uh, common reasons why you get rejected during the interview is because you don't answer the questions so when you reflect on siguro the answers that you've had maybe then you can start like oh okay so they asked me like why should i be the right fit for this role so maybe then you could use that um, research actually a lot of questions you can just research them online you mga typical questions like tell me about yourself like why should you be better um, other than other candidates so um it's really important that you reflect because when you reflect you would then know like oh dito ako nagkamali and this is where i should improve on and you always mm. have to keep like a positive mindset you don't put all your eggs in one basket so you don't just apply for one job and get sad for that job that you got rejected for oh yeah because even i myself i'm a recruiter but i've also been rejected a lot of times tapos um mm. there were times then oh yeah i really i really um did not do good in this interview so what i do mm. is that i move on to the next and when i move on to the next i make sure that i am prepared for the questions that they will um, be asking me because it's important then for everyone to also apply only to jobs <laughs> where your skill set would fit so if you think mm. like for example they're looking for let's say um this candidate was this specific skill set and you don't have that experience and the client specifically mentioned in the job post that they're looking for someone with you know this specific experience so if you don't have mm -hmm. that chempre you wouldn't expect then that you would pass the interview right or if it's like a requirement for them then you should not expect a lot from that client so yun lang, parang, um, it's not just happening to you it's happening to a lot of people mm. and if you probably just think that you know i don't think i'm good enough like you also have to think of ways of improving yourself you know like what abby said um if they're if you don't have any va experience and they are looking for someone with experience in va i mean there are a lot of trainings that you can join to a lot of trainings available online that are for free now but um you join for example if you're looking for a specific tool like you should know how to use hubspot you should know mm -hmm. how to use sales for so those things. You can also join um, for you to improve um, your skills and to also add that on your resume. So, yun lang. Or other reasons can be you're just not the right fit for the role. Like, mm -hmm. siguro, it's not for you. Because I've interviewed a lot of people na parang I, I always think to myself, like, oh, this person is really good, but they're just not for this client or they're not they're not just mm. what the client is looking for so it's sometimes it's not just really all about you know you not doing good in the interview but sometimes the job is just not meant for you it's meant for other people so parang don't take everything like as if it's your fault everything is mm. like on your end you didn't do good because i understand that a lot of us like we pass a lot of interviews and we don't even get interviewed <laughs> like we pass a lot of applications sorry but we don't even get through the interview process so because oh, yeah. again there are certain qualifications and you just might not be the right fit for the role but it does doesn't mean that you're no good at all so you always have to believe in yourself like you know in the next one i'm gonna be better because you would know like if you're applying for the same position mm -hmm. and for different companies different clients you would definitely know like what are the common questions that they are asking you and by that siguro ma master mo na, right if you're gonna go through a lot of <laughs> interviews then ma master mo na, like oh ito yung mga tinatanong ng mga questions then i should do more research and you know probably um be able to answer really well really well during the next um, interview that you will have. So yeah, I guess that's it for me. 
I love those. I love those. Those are so many tips. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I was surprised. Hindi ko akalain na ganito ang ano ang mga ibibigay ni, ni Miss Paula. So, to those of you who have taken notes, congratulations. Pero to those of you who wanted to, who, uh, i-replay na lang natin mamaya pag, ano, pag yes. hindi natin nakatch yung mga yon. It is okay because we, this is replayable anyway. Thank you very much for that, Miss Paula. Anna. Yes. Ako oh, sure. On- Yeah, share na lang muna ako. Um, siguro yung rejections na yan, um, hindi lang naman talaga sa freelancing, di ba? Ako kasi nung nag-start ako, yung corporate, sa corporate, di ba? Maraming rejections mm-hmm. din naman akong um, nagdaanan. Marami din akong job interviews na hindi ako natanggap. And yung mm-hmm. yung time na ano gusto kong maging isang uh, certified public accountant, parang feeling ko na-reject din ako doon. Parang sabi ko, mm-hmm. ano ba? Ito. Dito, parang feeling ko doon ako meant to be eh. Parang sabi ko, yun na lang yung pinaka-ultimate goal ko kasi nakagraduate ako, hindi ako bumabagsak sa mga kung ano-anong uh, test. Tapos pagkadating sa board exams, doon pa ako lumagapak. So parang, ayun, medyo, syempre, pag doon pa lang, parang ano na, na-shatter na lahat ng dreams mo, di ba? Pero afterwards, nagpatuloy pa rin ako. Tapos yun, nga, until nagkaroon na ng asawa and anak, maraming utang and all. Tapos na-discover ko tong freelancing. Nag-start ako 2015, marami pa rin akong um, gustong matutunan. Na-reject din ako dito, paulit-ulit. Parang mga one year yata bago ako nakahanap ng client until yun nga, um, uh, inaral ko kung papano, and after nun, nag- nakakapaghanap na ng client, pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung rejections, kahit maka- makakuha ka ng client, mare-reject at mare-reject ka pa rin, ba diba? So, nung time na nagka-client na ako, uh, may times na may kita, minsan wala, ba diba? So, na- na-realize ko, nasabi ko, um, kailangan talaga mamanhid ka sa rejections. <laughs> kailangan talaga inuula mo yung rejection na yan. Kasi kung hindi, magugutom ka, ba diba? So, kailangan, pagka, pagka napagod ka ngayon, or na-reject ka ngayong araw na to, pahinga ka lang, afterwards, apply ulit, ba diba? Hanap ulit. Meron, meron ang isang, ano, itong client na two years ko nang uh, uh, pinag-workan ngayon. Nag-apply ako sa kanya, parang virtual assistant. Tapos parang lima kami na, ano, na na tinest niya para para dito sa position na to. Tapos parang kung sino yung mas mabilis na makapag matapos doon sa task na yon, ayun yung i-hire niya. So parang um mm. nag ano lang yata ako, uh, second lang yata ako sa mm. mabilis. Pero nagtanong ako kay client, tinanong ko siya, sabi ko um wala na wala na bang chance, wala na bang ibang task na pwedeng oh. ibigay sa akin para para ma-hire niya ako. Sabi niya, sige, Anna, sabi niya, ikaw yung, uh, you come second daw nga na, sa natapos. Sabi niya, if ever pumalpak yung una niyang hinar, babalikan niya daw ako. So, hindi ko naman pinagdasal na pumalpak yung unang na-hire, di ba? <laughs> pero, pero itong client na to, ito, eventually, yung nakakuha ko ng, uh, nakakreate ako ng agency through him, nakapag, nakaku, nakakreate oh. ako ng team, tapos ngayon, four na yung team members ko doon. Tapos yun nga, binibigyan niya ako ng, binibigyan ng task, tapos pinapasa ko na lang, si, ba, di ba, si, sino mag, mag-aakala, mag-aakala na after, kung maging, ano, mag ng second lang doon sa, Uh, pinapagawa niya. Ngayon, two years na ako working with him, tapos meron pa akong, meron pa kaming um, sick, sick leave and vacation leave sa kanya na paid if ever. Tapos may bonus din yun every, ano, every Pasko, ganyan. So, di, di ba, sino mag-aakal na after nung rejection na yon na hindi ako na-hire, na nalungkot ako sa ko, sayang naman. Parang hindi ako na-hire. After nun, binalikan pa ako dahil nag-follow up ako. Di, yun, yun din ang nagbigay sa akin ngayon ng panibagong ano, panibagong sigla doon sa freelancing ko kasi nagkaroon pa ako ng agency through him, di ba? So yun, mm-hmm. dapat yung rejections, parang kasama na yun sa magiging quality qualities ng pagiging isang freelancer kasi dapat talaga, kapag ka na-reject ka, tuloy-tuloy lang, maging, maging patient ka lang. Yun nga, sabi nga ni, po, ni Paula, parang ang, kung hindi ka natanggap doon sa isang position, baka hindi meant to be sa'yo. Pero kung binalikan ka, eh di meant to be na sa'yo, di ba? <laughs> kasi binalikan ako ni client afterwards. So wag lang, wag lang talaga titigil like si Abi, 'di ba? Nawalan siya ng self-confidence sa sarili niya kasi na-reject siya. Pero kung titigil ka kasi wala ding mangyayari, 'di ba? So ikaw lang din talaga magpapatibay doon sa ano, sa loob mo. Ikaw lang din ang, ang magpapalakas ng loob mo. Yung self-confidence mo dapat ibalik mo lang din. Yun nga, paulit-ulit lang tayo. Kung gusto mo magutom, edi Tumigil ka. Kung ayaw mo, eh di magtrabaho ka. Maghanap ka lang ulit. Bumalik ka ulit, di ba? Bumalik ka ulit para mag-gain ng, ano, ng strength at lakas para magpatuloy. So, yun. 
I love that. I love that. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, with these four women na nagsalita, there are four things that I've learned. From Abby, it's humility. From Malu, Miss Lou, it's uh, tenacity. From Paula, it's preparation. And from Anna, it's hope. Yan ang mga ano, yan ang mga keywords na kailangan ilagay din natin sa loob natin when when we are facing rejection. Kasi ano, hindi 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 natin maiwasan yan. And according to them, as long as mag-move on ka, as long as matuto ka, as long as uh, mag, you accept it as it is, then you will be able to succeed on the next. Step by step lang talaga yan eh. Hindi natin masas- hindi natin mabibigla ang ang success natin sa freelancing. And that's of course if you are lucky. But like I said, alangan naman na aasa tayo sa ano sa luck na lang lagi dagi, right? Now, Miss Anna, pagdating sa ano sa sa students natin sa mga duma na mga students natin, yung mga ano yung mga na reject. Were they able to rise up again? What is the rate? What is the ano? What is, give me some numbers? Um, actually, yung mga malamig kasi students na join the sa guided hustle challenge na natin every month, ba? Mm. So malamig pa rin don. Um, pag nagjoin hindi na hire. Merong na hire, sure. Pero yun. Um, siguro mga ano? Mga twenty percent or thirty percent mga ganon. Tapos after non, so while waiting na magkaroon ng client, yun, nag-join nga sila dun sa mga internship ng VA Bootcamp yes. at saka sa Flip. So, dun sila muna nag-aantay while looking for the the right client or the one client na gusto talaga nila. I love that. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for that info. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, something that we all know, we also want to add to this is community. Community naman ang isang importante sa ano sa buhay natin bilang freelancer. Kasi nga hindi tayo lumalabas na nakiki na katabi natin ang mga kapwa natin freelancers, right? Nandun tayo sa bahay, nagtatrabaho tayo magisa. Pag minsan feeling talaga natin lonely, lonely tayo. So when whenever we face any problems, hindi lang rejection ha, because rejection is not just about uh, getting rejected from a from a job rejection sometimes kapag nag-submit ka ng trabaho mo and reject nila yung, yung ano yung na-hire ka na pero conditional yung 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 pagka-hire mo ta, na, na kapag nagustuhan nila yung product mo for example if you're a writer if they ask you to write an article tapos you put you poured your heart and soul doon sa sinulat mong yan and yet it was rejected so many corrections and what not that is also rejection and that will also bring you down for sure kasi emotional tayo eh we as filipinos we really are emotional we invest emotionally on almost everything that we do in, most especially pagdating sa trabaho natin kasi ayo din naman nating napapahiya right so when it comes to that to to those kinds of problems din naman rely on the community there is the flip group there's the vab there are other groups plenty more groups out there that can help you at least man lang alleviate the pain they will uh, help you absorb the pain they will say oy kaya mo yan. Hindi, kasi konti lang naman ang, ang, ang palitan mo dyan. Eh. I think you can do it. Something as simple as that can help you, can help lift your spirits and be able to fight again. Let's try, let's uh, go to Miss Abby. During your, your times of rejection, um, how much did it take for you to rise up? Um, I think I, I stopped for three days. Then... Hmm. Kasi there was a time, there was a time na, na parang napagod na ako mag-apply, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Lalo na ako nagsitimula ko. Then, I stopped for three days. D- during that time, naghanap ako ng support group. Since na, mm-hmm. as you know, sinabi mo nga na uh, freelancer tayo, we don't have office meet up to lift. Mm-hmm. At uh, nag-join ako ng mga different groups. Then, doon ako nakakita ng mga taong katulad ko rin na nahihirapan mag-land sa first client nila. And then, I love reading success stories ng iba na kung paano sila na, nakakuha ng client. Minsan nga niniiyak pa ako pag binabasa ko yung parang akong ako. <laughs> up until now. Up until yeah. now. Then, after three days na nag-ganap nag, ako yung support group, then, um, tinig ko as yung experience ng mga nagpo-post doon na parang akin, inakin ko yung experience nila. And ginamit ko to motivate myself na gusto ko gusto ko talagang mag-succeed then there where I started applying again and the good thing is parang ano nga parang miracles hand during that night I got my first job kaya lang this time hindi siya accounting kasi no time na yun gusto ko talagang pumasok sa bookkeeping 
Um, I was hired as ICAM DA. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. I love that. I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Abby here is a living testament of, of you know, reaching out to the community. Kaya nga, kami, kaya nga namin ino offer itong activities na ito. Some of you are not fond of reading, maybe. Some of you may may just want to watch, sit and watch. You absorb more information by watching or by listening. And so here we are with the, with, with our shows here. Sometimes meron naman kami mga daily inspirational uh, projects din naman na ginagawa namin para, para po lahat sa inyo yun. Para na Naman, we are doing everything that we can so that, so that perhaps merong at least isa sa inyo itong na motivate and i think that is something that you also need to do sometimes you know ladies and gentlemen feeling natin porket nasa porket may problema tayo depressed tayo eh wala na tayong karapatan na mag cheer up or magbigay ng advice sa ibang tao especially pagdating sa freelancing you know what Something as simple as a rub on the back, parang hindi, man, hindi naman literal, pero something as simple as a very uh, one sentence na kaya mo yan. Ako nga rin nahihirapan ngayon eh, pero kaya natin yan. Something as simple as that will definitely encourage many people already. So do not be afraid to encourage people just because you have your problems of your own. Do not be afraid to reach out and tell them that it is okay. You are not alone. Lahat po ng mga, ng mga nagkakaproblema ngayon dahil sa, ano, sa kahirapan ng pagkuha ng mga projects or to maintain your own job or makapasok man sa Upwork. Yan mga yan, you are not alone. There are many more out there many filipinos out there who are suffering the same problem so why not go ahead and reach out and say yeah relate ako if you if you can do that you know what you would never know you might have saved somebody's life already by by merely saying that now let's go to so thank you very much for that miss abby let's go to miss malu again miss lu uh yes. let me let me give you a difficult question by the time that you that a person gets rejected should they consider is it them or is it the client um it depends on the interview or on the job mm. um uh, meron akong meron akong naging client na hinire ako part-time lang dapat ito mm. uh, hinire niya ako Australian siya. Uh, supposed to be parang um, ala Joe Vitale, mga personality development coach. Parang ganun okay. siya. So, hindi, mag magulo siyang kausap. Magulo siyang kausap. So, I'm trying to do yung task na sinasabi niya. So, mm -hmm. tapos biglang sabi na niya na ano, siguro hindi ako yung tamang tao para dun mm -hmm. sa job na yun. Um, uh, so, sabi ko okay, sabi ko okay lang sa akin 'yon. Tapos um nalaman ano, nalaman ko merong isa pang BA, dalawa bali dalawa kami eh. May nauna sa akin. Na, tapos may sumunod sa akin. So, yung nag-reach out sa akin yung isa, sabi niya tinatanong niya ako, ah, binayaran ka ba ni na client?" Sabi ko, hmm. "Of course." Sabi ko ganoon bago bago kami mag-start pina ano pina turn on ko yung contract sa Upwork. Sabi niya, kasi walang binabanggit sa akin. Sabi niya, gano'n sa akin. Sabi, sabi ko, ha? Paano walang binabanggit? Walang binabanggit na, ah. ano, na, na contract at saka na, ano, na pay. Sabi uh -huh. ko, ah, hindi pwede yun. Sabi ko, hindi pwede sa akin yung gano'n. Sabi ko, so, kaya pala sabi ko, gano'n ang tanong niya sa akin. Nung, uh, are we going to start the contract? Sabi niya, sabi ko, of course, I cannot start working if you're not going to start the contract. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Tapos na, sabi niya sa akin, yung nauna raw sa akin, hindi raw binabayaran. Wala din daw contract. So, tapos na shock ako. Sabi ko, ha? Parang, kaya pala niya ako inano. <laughs> Kasi, ang gusto niya uto. free. <laughs> Oo. Ako lang yung ayaw pumayag na ano. So, uh -oh. ang, uh -oh, it's sad din na Mayroong mga pumapahig na gano'n. Uh, you have to speak up. Kailangan mm. sabihin niyo sa, na, ano, na mayroon dapat contract, na get, ganito dapat ang pay ko. So, itong client na to, sinabi ko sa Upwork talaga. Sabi niya gano'n sa akin, mabait siya sa, ano, eh, sa, sa feedback sa akin. Eh. Sabi niya gano'n, she is not, uh, she is really good in her, what her, 
she's she's inconsistent sabi niya she's really good in her job but she's not the right fit for me yun ang sabi mm. niya ah ako sinabi okay. ko lahat talaga sa upwork sabi ko ganun you don't, this client sabi ko hired me and then i found out that um two other VAs that she hired are not being paid sinabi ko talaga mm. sa upwork uh, so beware of this client yun ang ko talaga sa upwork uh, so there's there is always a reason um hindi oh pwedeng may kulang sa iyo kamukha ng sabi ni Abi yung mm-hmm. experience ni Abi pero not all the time uh, it's not uh, is it's you minsan may nangyari din sa akin na isang client uh, related sa sinabi ni pa- Paula na dapat pag sinabi uh, Meron akong na-encounter na sa four years ko sa freelancing, meron akong dalawang client na na-encounter na kakaiba ang way nila ng uh, pagsala sa ano sa sa mga employees. Etong huli, um, sabi niya sa akin, I'm going to pay you two hours for this test. Sabi niya, even if mm. it will only take one hour. Sabi niya, but I want you to take this okay. test because there's only two of you that I'm going to choose uh, which one to hire. Sabi niya ganun sa akin. So, uh, okay, mahirap yung test. Ang ang medyo parang hindi ako comfortable. Kailangan na doon sa sa ano, sa sa instruction dapat daw nakabukas ang computer. Para naka, nakatingin ako sa computer habang susul <laughs> parang hindi ako comfortable. Pinatay ko yung computer. So, sabing ganun sa akin ni eh, client. I uh, it was hard for me to decide which one among you to get. To hire, sabi niya ganon. Your test was really high, sabi niya ganon sa akin. Sabi ko, okay, sabi ko, but I turned off the computer because it was I was not comfortable answering mm. while the computer is on, ay the camera is on, sabi ko sa kanya. So I think, ah, uh, dun siya nagdecide, kasi pinatay ko yung, di ko sinundo mm. yung instruction. So, mm. yon, yon. Ako ang may problema. Yung isa. Si client pang may problema, di ba? So, But I, li- I, I like that you, uh, hindi masyadong ikaw ang problema eh. Kasi ano eh, uh, to, uh, ladies and gentlemen na, ah, uh, katulad kay Miss Malu, wag kayong pumayag na lahat na lang eh, yung sa- sila itong nasusunod. For example, oh, with Miss Malu, if she is uncomfortable riding in front of the camera, na naka- naka-on ang camera, kasi bakit nga ba? Ano bang gusto niyang makita yung makikita ka ba na nagkukulangot ng gano'n o nag- nagkakamot ng gano'n? Diba? Ano, ang weird eh. Yeah. If you are not comfortable with that, then like Paula said, it's not it's just not the right fit. Do not mm. consider that as a rejection. Para ikaw pa nga itong nag-reject ng client kung tutuusin na eh. But yes, those are excellent examples, Miss Lou, na ano na in, in, in moments like when we face rejections, We cannot always say it is your problem. It, we cannot yeah. always say you are the problem. Sometimes we have to weigh in whether it is the client or ikaw. And it doesn't it doesn't matter much really. Basta ma- maganda rin yung ano eh, malalaman mo kung saan nang galing ang mali so that you'll it'll be easier for you to move on by the time by the time that you identify that. Red yeah. Maria says freelancing job is for the strong and determined ones. This is yeah. very Very true. And mm-hmm. Romeo De Leon also said, surround yourself with supportive and inspiring people to encourage you to keep on going. Move on lang po sa next application. That is correct. I love that. Thank you very much, Mr. Romeo. Uh, Paula, let me also give you a difficult uh, question. Pag, ano, when it comes to rejection, the moment that a newbie gets rejected, a newbie, ha, the moment that a newbie gets rejected, what are uh, the things that they need to look into to know kung saan sila nagkamali? Um, so, whenever they fail, siguro mga interviews, especially newbies, is to check... Mm-hmm. Y- Yeah, like what I said earlier, Sigoro, na parang um, check the skill set if, you know, um, they have that. That was for them to like really join um, trainings, courses, like um, there are a lot available online na padin lang salihan so they can join. Because if you start, uh, if you apply as a newbie and you apply for a job and then when you go to the interview, um, the client would ask you like certain questions not related to the job and you are out there in the interview and then 
parang natameme ka because you can't answer anything mm-hmm. or di mo alam anong isasagot kasi you have no idea about the jobs. Diba? That's the yeah. usual problem of a newbie. So it's mm-hmm. best if you like join um, training, seminars, and um, the really good thing about freelance or let's say remote work right now is there are a lot of groups that you can join and a lot of newbies are like posting online like hey can you give me tips um on like how i should do this so it's also good really really good to read um reviews or even your mga testimonies online that's actually like a really good head start sa mga newbies for them to learn like uy eto pala yung dapat sagutin eto pala this is how even even your cover letters or yun nga yung sinasabing proposals like Diba? There's a right way to do it. There's a right way for you to catch the attention mm-hmm. of the client. But we also all understand that it's also different for every client. Parang iba-iba din yung gusto um, for every client. So you really have to make sure that you tailor fit it based on dun nga sa nakapost na job description. Kasi I understand that meron sa ibang mga clients na parang they would ask you to parang reply or put in your cover letter like a random random thing lang. Like parang yes. um, put here, I would like to earn like $5,000. Yung mga ganun. So it, uh-huh. um, attention to detail. It's very, very important. So yun yung dapat mga i-take note ng mga newbies. And yun nga, like um, just really learn, 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 learn. Kasi it's it's gonna help you a lot. And certifications, trainings, courses, that's really gonna boost up your your resume. Kahit wala kang experience, but you've joined that training. I guess it's enough din naman for you to say that you're knowledgeable. Kahit na one month ka pa lang sa work mo, you feel like you already know a lot of things in your job, right? So, training will really, really help a lot. Nice. Training, ayan, ladies and gentlemen, training will uh, it will really boost your confidence. Yung mga sinasabing walang experience, you can create your own experience. Really, if if you don't have experiences, you can create your own, your own experience. Just look at example jobs out there, and if you think that you can do it, then do it. But means you if you want to create a portfolio, you don't have it. It doesn't have to come from a different company. Pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong portfolio. Hindi mo inventohin na gumawa ka talaga. If a if a, if there's a a job post out there that says, "I want you to create this colorful image." Pag sila pag sinabing ganon, and then uh, you can try it out and then put it on your portfolio so that the next time that you look for a job and somebody sees your portfolio, at least you got a sample work. Now that is working smart. Kaya nga preparation training, it it really brings things out the best in you if you keep on exercising. Hindi yung doubt na lang ng doubt ng doubt. Uh, Miss Paula, may pahabol nga ako. Let me follow uh, follow you yeah. up on this. Uh, as a as a person who hires people, because we usually throw the advice that if possible, if if you can ask your client why you were rejected. So is that a sound advice? Um. Because in our process, um, we usually like for for us here at Crew Bloom, we usually give out like three tries for every applicant, so they can go through three mm. different client interviews before we totally say that they get rejected. So um, a, a lot of times, like candidates would ask, like um, like Hey, Miss Paula, like uh, can you ask for the reason why I failed the interview? Ganon ganon. Mm-hmm. So um, usually, naman I would ask, I would ask our success team na parang um, can you give me like more information about dun sa nangyari sa interview, why this candidate failed? Because for the applicant, it's also very frustrating for them to like mm. have to probably go through. Like, because I, I I don't really know ano yung background nila. Like, if they've failed a lot of interviews in the past, apos dito na naman sa interview sa amin, failed na naman sila elit. So actually, sometimes um. It's okay to like really ask, um, especially if would, it would really help you. Na parang like for example, may mga times na parang si candidate, um, kasi super excited siya. He was very excited mm. for the interview. So parang yung labas sa client is that super confident siya or overly confident during the interview. So parang na overkill. Mm. Um, kasi diba sometimes it can be like that. It's either we nail it or we we don't really um do good at it. So sometimes like it. It really pays na parang we just keep our cool. Let's just be ourselves. Let's just n- put, yes. parang let's not be super maarte when it comes to the interview na parang o oh, i-overkill mo na na, you know, you're gonna um, super impress the client. Ganun. Kasi sometimes mm-hmm. they would also not believe that. Especially if may itatanong sila na very simple question tas di mo masagot. 
kasi you <laughs> oversold yourself during the interview. So usually, yun yung mga parang ano ng mga clients na parang yun, or they're not fit. Like culturally, parang parang the, the client thinks that um, they would not be a great fit for the kind of culture that they have. So yun siya. Mm -hmm. I, it, it, it's good if you ask questions like to, to the recruiters or if if you work directly with the client then with the client like um like mm -hmm. what do you think should i improve on pero also understand that not everybody will be able to give time to respond because i understand that a lot yes. of people get hurt if they don't receive a feedback so that's mm -hmm. there could be a lot of reasons why hindi kayo nakakatanggap ng feedback maybe because madami silang in interview um mm -hmm. madaming madaming like apply or madaming tatanong like what could be the reason why especially if it's volume hiring ganun. so um if you don't get the answer, then because um, sometimes people would really reply to you, diba, when you ask for like um, a feedback. But if they don't respond, oh, yeah. um, don't get hurt, na lang siguro. But just um, mm. like use it um, for you to like be better. Because um, if you dwell on it, for example, you ask for the reason why you you exactly you you got bitter or nagalit ka dun sa company. Tapos later on, parang the company approached you na parang oh, uh, I think this time this is gonna be a good fit for you na ganun ka na so diba tapos mm. you said something about um the client like you you bad mouthed the company so mm -mm. that's also gonna put you at a you know at a bad um point right so yes oh yeah Yes, that, that is true. That is very true, ladies and gentlemen. Pag sumama ang loob ninyo, do not burn bridges when you haven't even built it yet. Do not burn bridges. You are still building bridges. You are making connections. So if you happen to to be rejected, wag yung murahin. Wag yung murahin. But I mean, well, patayin yung muna ang camera at saka microphone bago yung murahin. Tapos pag sindi ng ano, pag pag nailabas niyo na yung sama ng loob niyo yan. <laughs> Ayan, sige, buksan na yung, yun na yung computer ninyo ulit. Ganon, well, do not burn bridges because there will come a time na you will get connected. The world is small. Kahit billion-billion tayo mga tao, eventually you can get connected to each other. Kasi uh, meron yung mga tao na they keep people who are interesting. And if you happen to be interesting to them, katulad nga kay Miss Anna, who knows, magkaroon din kayo ng connection in the future. So please... Especially pag newbies kayo. Pag komportable na kayo sa sahod ninyo, fine. Sige lang, magmataray kayo kung gusto nyo. Pero sa ngayon, na naghanap pa lang tayo ng, ano, ng trabaho, please do not burn bridges. Connect, 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 connect. The moment that you actually ask them why you got rejected, that is already connecting. Okay? So, uh, basta... Um, Tiisin nyo na lang. Pag hindi nyo na kaya, isara nyo muna yung computer ninyo at sumigaw kayo at magmura kayo kung gusto ninyo if that is your if that is your personality and then go back. Okay? Huwag, huwag yung diretsahan. And... Uh, <laughs> yes! O oh, sige. Magsashare yeah. lang. Okay. Ayan, announcements. So, on April 14, 4.30 p.m., after 20 years, I can now enjoy flexible hours and bigger income through freelancing interview with Norben Las Lasola with Phoenix Jackson. 4.30 yan sa Wednesday, don't forget. Um, How successful freelancers stay healthy and happy? April 19 naman, yan ang topic natin. Next week, 6 p.m., flip chat and chill with me and Phoenix. Um, Bab exclusive naman to, chikahan sh shesh, <laughs> sesh with me, Jolene, and Marites. Uh, sa mga VA Bootcamp students lang to. So, sa Saturday to April 17, 6 p.m. naman. Uh, yun, yung mga interested mag-enroll sa VA Bootcamp, punta lang kayo sa vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. Ang um, kagandahan ng uh, course natin is lifetime access na siya, so pwede mo siyang balik-balikan. Meron tayong tatlong packages, skill packages na 3,990, accelerated package na 7,990, complete package natin 19,990. Tapos meron na rin tayong individual courses, so pwede mo na siyang isa-isang isa bilhin, punta ka lang sa vabootcamp.ph slash shop. 
Better English for Online Success, 1490. Getting Started with Blogging, 1490. Bookkeeping and QuickBooks for Beginners, 2990. Email Marketing Mechanics, 2990. Freelance Writing for Beginners, 2990. SEO, The Way Google Likes It, 2990. Social Media for Business Management and Marketing, 2990. Websites, 101, WordPress, and HTML, 2990. And E-Commerce Virtual Assistance for 2990. At meron na rin tayong Next Level Freelancing Course na 2990 each. Yung 101. 1. Creating an irrefusable offer 1. 2. Obtaining high-value clients 1. 3. Starting a freelance agency Tapos pwede natin i-bundle yung individual courses into 3 para mas mura 7.990 na lang siya So, avail all of this in the complete course at 19,990 and get to join a monthly coaching call by Jason Dulay. Exclusive lang to sa VA Bootcamp Complete Students So, pwede ka mag-upgrade kung accelerated or skills package yung kinuha mo tapos, available din yung mga free courses natin. So, kung gusto mong mag matuto kung paano at wala kang budget, punta ka lang sa vabotcamp.ph slash free courses. Mayroon tayong virtual assistance, SEO for beginners, social media management, e-commerce virtual assistance, intro to next level freelancing, intro to lead generation, email marketing, better English, bookkeeping, web design, and writing. And thank you for watching! Ayan. Oh, thank you for... Ang bilis talaga ni Anna mag-advertise. Pag ako, aabot ako ng yeah. sento-sento dyan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Narating na po natin ang closing time natin. Sana naman po na uh, marami kayong natutunan ngayon. But before we close this episode today, let me start asking the panel. Finally... When it comes to uh, rejection and turning it into your into an advantage, what is the simplest advice that you can give to our audiences, whether newbie man or hindi? Let us start with Miss Abby. Um, for me, yung motivation, that's the only thing I have back then. Mm. Siguro, this will work Skype, hindi ka newbie. You need to be motivated in order for you to find success. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Wow, it's so simple. I love that. Um, Miss Abby, meron ka bang advertisement o meron kang ano, pa shout out? Um, wala. <laughs> Hindi ah, uh, paki- meron na kung ano, meron na kung group page. <laughs> meron na kung group page. Um, there were I teach some of the skills that I've learned through uh, for one year. I love sharing ideas kahit dito sa group and I've been very active na mag-comment sa mga posts ng other members here kasi mm-hmm. I know how they feel so I wanted to be a somehow aid to their problems so if you wanted to learn more you can like my page uh, virtual partner um, that you can like you can check my website virtual partner that info and like my happy page up uh, virtual partner Nice. Virtual partner. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Mga admins, pakilagay nga yan sa, ano, sa comment. Virtual partner by Miss Abby. Meron ka bang papakumustahan, Miss Abby? Shout out. Yung sister ko siguro super supportive kasi um, yung sister ko actually, I influenced her to be BA then. So I hired her nice. as my as assistant so that she can also someday have her own client. So I'm training her at hand. So shout out to my sister Maricon. I know you are watching. I love that. I love that. Thank you very much, Miss Abby. Let's go. Let's go to Miss Lou. Miss Lou, um, what is the simplest? Uh, what is the simplest advice that you can give to our audiences today? Um, yung goal. Don't forget your goal and aim for it. Because if you goal, ka, you will do everything to reach your goal. So yeah. I love that. That's crazy. Ang, ang sa simple ng mga, <laughs> ng mga advices nila, one word. It's just a phrase and yet it's so powerful. Yung goal nga po, if uh, some, something that is uh, that we usually mention is your biggest why dito sa VA Bootcamp. But yes, of course, if, if, if you look at your goal and focus on your goal and that is going to help you go further in your journey. Thank you very much for that, Miss Lou. Ano, may advertisement po ba kayo? Meron din kayong pa-shout out? Wala, pero um, the last time na yung Just Success, uh, mm-hmm. there are two special needs moms who ano, ah. reached out to me. So mm-hmm. I'm going to mentor them. Sinabi ko sa kanila na ano, I will, I will uh, help you. I will only leave you pag meron na silang client. So. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Bless your heart, <laughs> Miss you. Lou. We need to wow, do that. Pay it that forward. That is so nice. Yes. There you go. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, uh, kaya sige lang, sige lang. Um, keep on uh, pursuing your, ano, your, your, your goal until re you reach success and eventually kayo rin naman itong, ano, itong magpe-pay forward. Katulad nga ni Miss Lou, eh. It, this, that is so nice. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, Miss Lou. And I hope to see you again. I hope to have you again on Flip Chat and Chill as well and Miss Abby too. And finally, Miss Paula, Siguro for me, it's um, don't ever lose your momentum because you'll mm. never know when the right opportunity will knock. So parang just keep the spirit high. So that's nice. for me. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful momentum. Ayan, sige lang, just keep the ball rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Ang galing. Is there anything you'd like to advertise and meron kang pa shout out din, Miss Paula? I'm sure, that, I'm sure you have some. Um, siguro, um, if you guys will probably, if, if you know someone who is interested or is looking for like a remote opportunity, so I work for an outsourcing company, it's called Crewbloom. So you can check out our website, that's crewbloom.com slash careers for, um, our openings. Meron kaming mga VA na mga hiring, but right now, um, wala kaming opening muna. So all like sales, appointment setting, yung mga ganun. So if you guys are interested, you can apply. Um, shout out sa team namin, of the recruitment team, they were watching earlier. So, yep. Yun lang. Kaya pala maraming viewers, yung buong team ni Paula. I love that. I love that. Ayan, admin, pakidagdag na rin ang ano, crew blooms kay sa, ano, sa comment section din para ma-check out nila. Thank you very much, Miss Paula, for being, for being with us today and I hope that we Thank get you. to have you again some other time uh, marami, alam ko marami kayo mai, mai impart din sa mga audiences namin and I'm on behalf yes. of our audiences to you three Miss Abby Miss Lou and Miss Paula I really really thank you very much thank Anna. you yes yun um, pag na-reject magmunimuni ko anong reason but na-reject baka may maling nasabi or nasagot pero don't be too hard on yourself lang sa tawanan mm. mo na lang siya then mag-move mm -hmm. on ulit apply ulit para kung baka hindi para sa'yo yung work or baka hindi kayo meant to be ni client talaga. So, kung ganon, mag-upgrade ka lang din ng skills mo kung laging puro rejections talaga. Pag na-reject ka, di ibig sabihin ng failure ka kagad. Yun yung nagpatibay sa akin. So, dapat ganon din yung ano, maging ano nyo rin, maging pananaw nyo sa buhay. Ayan. Ayan. Thank you very much for that, Miss Anna. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as we say here um, in our show, ang title po natin is How to Use a Job Rejection to Your Advantage. It's very, very simple to many people. It's difficult to others. But... It, Nasa sayo pa rin yan eh. It really is your choice whether you are going to dwell on, on it, whether you are going to overcome it, whether you are just going to ignore it. It really is your choice. There is no right answer to everything. And especially to you, ladies and gentlemen, dahil magkakaiba tayo ng ugali, magkakaiba tayo ng psyche, magkakaiba tayo ng technique on how to face the challenges that we have head on. But the most important thing is to take your step yeah, take your step forward. Take a step forward every time. Kahit na meron tayong rejection o walang rejection, whether we are going to dwell on it for three months if you want to, it is okay. Or if you just want to brush it off after after an hour, that is also fine. But what's important is, nag step forward ka ba? Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is what's going to help you and push you forward and break through that wall that you are facing right now. Yeah. Keep pushing forward. Thank you very much, everybody, and hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Good night.